Put it in there. We're having a butter bean discussion here. Chris Wooten on a, uh, a Fitness Friday talking about uh, the way to fuel your body healthy. What your diet, of course, impacts all this. Correct. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell. It does. I eat like a 12 year old most of the time. And that's our issue is we try not, we never leave that. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> <You know? laughs> we, we think that's okay. And you sure. know, an average around the United States is two to three pounds a year you start to gain. Right. And most of that is in the fall. You know, because we don't, we either, I say this all the time, that we either fall into fitness, which we're doing a little challenge at the gym, even that, that's called that, or either you fail into, fall, you know, you fail into the fall. Right. Because we've, um, well, you slow we, down, you go back to work, you, you know, start January eating all the yummies. Is coming, Christmas is coming anyway, I might as well just not worry about it. I'll start after the first of the year, that right. kind of thing. So, you know, you got to start, you got to continue to refuel that furnace every day. Sure. You know, the, the proper way. Wait, is there, is there really a school of thought? We talked about don't eat late at night, you should eat, you not skip breakfast, you should fast. Really, what are, what are some of the buddy of mine's a, a buddy of mine's a fireman, and we talk about putting out the fire or smoldering the fire. It's the right. same thing with your body. If you you know if you start putting uh, more uh, too many logs on the fire at one time, it's going to smolder it out. If you don't put enough logs in there, it's going to burn out. You know, so you got to steadily feed it all sure. day long to keep that furnace burning. A couple of a uh, couple of ideas. We had our friend Sid from the Beef Jerky Outlet on talking about that beef jerky. That actually, is pretty a, good, right? That is a great, especially the Beef Jerky Outlet because they don't use all the preservatives and you don't see all the things that that right. uh, that you see in traditional stuff off the shelf. So, so like the Slim Jim when you snap right. it into them, probably exactly. not totally as different good. ball game. But this is sure. a, this is a great alternative just to getting some good protein. You know, good protein bars, um, and and it's, you know this is this is easy as. Um, an apple and peanut butter. Something prior to your workout, something post-workout. We were talking earlier, <laughs> a, a can of butter beans and some tuna. I know it sounds nasty, but that is a phenomenal post-workout. What could I replace tuna? I don't eat tuna. I think it's nasty, but I could eat a there's, butter bean. What could I put in my... Bunch, there's a bunch of other fish out there. <laughs> Alright, how about no seafood at all? What if I want all the alternative? Can you I put can, butter and beans and macaroni? <laughs> not, not macaroni. We've got to have some protein. <laughs> but, that, that, you know, just butter beans by themselves have uh, a ton of protein, like seven right. grams of protein. Plenty of fibrous carbs, and I say that just because it's easy, you know. Right. It, and people want easy. That's why we end up gaining, uh, you know, that that late at night thing we talked about. Sure. Folks think you can't eat late at night, but it's not about when you eat so much; it's what you eat. Right. You're sitting in front of the TV, you're bored, your sugar levels start to crash. So instead of going a handful of granola, you grab right. two Jethro-sized bowls of cereal and you <laughs> school them down, or and and then you've eaten an extra 60 grams of sugar. You right. spike your sugar up, and then that's and when you, you go sleep, to sleep like a baby. Yeah. What about hydration? Of course, that's important. Whether it's that or is a coffee okay? By the Coffee's way, coffee's okay, but you, yeah, obviously you can't overdo it. You got to make sure you drink, uh, you know, one of these for right. every one of those that you drink, just sure. to keep the body hydrated. Because there again, that furnace, even though you're burning calories, you can't do it without water in the muscle. I love it. It's great stuff. Pretty great. You know what you say? I mean, what do you always say? That bodies are made in the kitchen. Abs are made in the kitchen. There you go. I saw a thing the other day that said, where is this kitchen that these abs are made in? <laughs> <laughs> Wooten household. You've been there, right? All right, Chris Wooten, the, uh, the body shop in Lexington, my brother. Always good. Grab yourself a snack. I'm going to take this and this. And I'll take this. No, this is mine. i got, I got to hydrate. <laughs>